Hey guys, it's James, and today I got Timmy from Imagine Scent back on my channel. We're going to look at the top five fragrances that Jeremy Fragrance made us buy. What's up guys, my name's Jeremy and I'm going to tell you the top fragrances to buy. <laughs> Welcome to J Royal, my name is James of course and this is Top 5 Friday. Today's Top 5 is about a very important person in the YouTube fragrance community. It's Jeremy Fragrance. Jeremy is a very special kind of person because he really does have a lot of influence on the general masses. And I'm part of the general masses. Timmy and I are collaborating on this list because we admit to the world that there are five fragrances, at least, that we probably got because of Jeremy Fragrance. So let's go through them right now, starting with our number five choice, 24 Gold by Scent Story. This fragrance is based on 24, the show, and it was a relative unknown before Jeremy Fragrance was talking about it. Back when he popularized this fragrance, it was a cheapie. It was extremely affordable, which is incredible for this fragrance. The scent character is very, very deep. It has niche-like quality. It's ambery, vanillic, woody, and it is a monster performer. It lasts very long. It's an incredible cold weather fragrance. And even though the prices have gone up since, I still think it's an amazing value. At number five, 24 gold. Oh, Timmy, what is the number four? Hey guys, Timmy here from Imagine Scent, and let's get right on to number four spot, guys, for the top five fragrances Jeremy made us buy. And the number four spot is Invictus Aqua. Now, this fragrance, I would never, never have like bought or have been interested if it wasn't because of Jeremy's video. And I remember the exact video that was too. That was the 2000s, the best of 2016 video from Jeremy. This was at the number one spot alongside Valentino Womo Intense. And I was thinking like, is it really that good? Because the original Invictus was like, was okay, you know, it wasn't my favorite. So the Aqua version, I didn't give it much thought, you know? I need, so. I had to buy it to test it and lord behold, it's pretty amazing and it's discontinued now so if you guys are looking to get one, definitely get one right now. My number three fragrance that Jeremy forced me to buy, Aqua Amara. This fragrance topped one of Jeremy's summer lists because of the fact that it's a performance monster for a freshie. I would say unanimously people get very good performance with this fragrance especially considering it's made up of citrus and aquatic notes. It has a slight inherent saltiness to it too, which is typical for the Aqua line. It has drawn comparisons to Sauvage, not necessarily in the note breakdown, but what you would use it for. So for a summer fragrance, this is pretty seductive, I would say. I've had Aqua Pour Homme for over two years now, and it's been a favorite of mine. So I think I would have eventually gravitated towards this, but because of Jeremy, I got it sooner than expected. <laughs> Number two spot, guys, and this one's probably on a lot of you guys' list as well. This one is Mont Blanc's Individual. Guys, seriously, this fragrance would never, never get the talk or the hype that it has if Jeremy Fragrance did not talk about it. Because seriously, um, it's not like Invictus Aqua where, okay, that's Paco Rabanne. You know, people are going to buy Paco Rabanne. People know Paco Rabanne. But this is Mont Blanc, and especially Mont Blanc's Individual. I haven't even heard a lot of this fragrance before Jeremy like mentioned it. You know, no one talks about it. It doesn't. It's not mentioned anywhere on anyone's list until Jeremy talked about it. And guys, I had to check it out. And because of the price, it's so cheap as well. There's no way that I wasn't gonna buy and test it out to see if it it deserved the hype or it's as legendary as people say it is. And guys, I can. Uh, for the price, you really, really cannot go wrong with this fragrance. It is strong enough, it smells pleasing enough, and it's under 30 bucks. Yeah, there's nothing to complain about at all, and it smells really, really close to the original Santel by Creed. I have tested it, I can confirm that. So guys, great pickup for under 30 bucks, Mont Blanc's Individual. And of course, our number one pick for fragrances that Jeremy made us buy has got to go to... La Nuit de L'Homme. This is notably Jeremy's baby. This is the fragrance that triggered my turning point in my fragrance journey. Before I had a collection of maybe 10 fragrances that I rotated through, but once I discovered Jeremy fragrance and his obsession and his passion for the craft, it kind of allowed me to realize my own passion 
and I started feeling comfortable with the fact that I was obsessed with fragrances, and still am. After Jeremy's high praise of this fragrance, I went ahead and ordered three 200 milliliter bottles of this fragrance. Sadly, this is the 2015 batch. So I got 600 mils of mediocre Lanui. Because this is one of my go-to date fragrances, I don't necessarily need nuclear projection and performance. Six, seven hours is good enough for me, and that's about what I get with Lanui. I still think this is an absolutely incredible fragrance, and I'm reminded of that every time I revisit it. Let me tell you about a compliment I got with this. I was riding my bicycle one afternoon, and I rode past a couple, went around a corner, locked my bike. She followed me into this little alleyway to stop me and say, oh my God, whatever you're wearing, that's how he needs to smell. She found me on the street only to talk smack about how her boyfriend doesn't smell as good as I do. It's still a banger, guys. Get the vintage if you can. Either way, La Nuit de Lum is a classic, amazing fragrance. And that's why it's my number one fragrance that Jeremy forced me to buy 600 milliliters of. That's our top five list this week, guys. Thank you for joining me. Big thanks to Timmy for stopping by again. It's always a pleasure. And if you haven't checked out Imagine Scent, check out his information below. All of our links to the Facebook group, Instagram, and Snapchat are down below in the descriptions. And if you like what you see, then go ahead and click the subscribe button. And also click the bell if you want some notifications. There is a bell icon. If you don't know where it is, you can just DM me and then I'll tell you. My name is Jeremy, individual. Peace!